So I wanted to use 3D printing around the house for an upgrade on our cupboards. My idea was to print some knobbies that we can use to open the, the doors and replace all the existing little handles on all the cupboards in our house. So I turned to 3D printing for this. We've lived here for uh, 18, 19 odd years and uh, we got all the handles on the house of the originals from when we bought it. So I thought it was time for an upgrade. I went to the kitchen, I had a look at the little handle there and I did, then went on to Thingiverse and downloaded a really great looking one. So I have been printing these things like crazy and it's not expensive to do and really satisfying. So the first idea was to print in PLA black. So I was printing these in PLA black. I printed off two. They look really great, but you can see they're 3D printed. I then tried on the resin printer. And as you can see in this video over here, I explained what happened on that resin print. But that was also nice. But again, it's, it's not what I'm looking for because I didn't have quite the color. So that idea struck me. Why don't I use the CC tree wood filament uh, PLA that I have? And I thought, let me give that a try. And boy, was I pleasantly surprised. So I started printing in wood PLA. These prints look amazing. I'm so pleased with the way these are printing out. So I started printing these in the wood filament and boy, did they come out so nice. As you can see by this one, this is one that is freshly off the print. So it's still got the little zits on there that I need to uh, scrub off, but you can sand this wood down beautifully and it comes to a really great finish. So if you look at this one here, this is one where I sanded everything down and then attempted to do a staining. I used this gel stain that I found at the hardware store and uh, I'm actually quite pleased with the result. I did find out one thing though, when you start staining this, make sure that you've sanded the whole uh, side down. If you haven't sanded everything, it doesn't quite stick that well. So you just gotta give it a light sanding. I used 80 grit paper sand everything down and then put the stain on. You can see a little gap over there where it was not properly sanded. The nice thing is that if it's not quite right, you can sand down the area and reapply, but the more stain you apply with this after it's dry, the darker it's gonna get. But guys, I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. I've already put one of these on the cupboard as a tester, just this color, and my wife loves it. It came out really nice, so pleased with it. So. 3D printing is really, oh gosh, guys, what you what can't you do with 3D printing? I love working with 3D printers. I love things like just getting some wood filament and printing out your own little, little handles. Quite honestly, these handles cost about the same as what I can buy them in the shop, but I made these. If I want to change it, I can change it. In 10 years, if I want to print another one, I can print another one because one broke. And these are surprisingly strong. They're not brittle. I drilled a small hole in the back here. I then tapped it with a screw and tightened it onto the uh, cupboard door and it was perfect. It's sticking perfectly. Look at this. This is on the cupboard. So on the left hand side, you've got the, the new one. And on the right hand side is the old bronze uh, handle that was there looking old and faded and just not attractive. But if you look at the one on the left, it looks stunning. And the fact that you can actually stain this as well. I got asked by my user group, can you stain this wood filament? And I said, I don't know. So I went out and got some stain and tried it and it works surprisingly well. So just take your time in, in sanding these down, sand them down nice and smooth, sand down every part of it so that it's, it's, it's really smooth and really looks good, and then apply your stain and away you go. So I will be staining all of these, these handles and then putting them onto my cupboards, doors in my kitchen. Um, I'm redesigning my kitchen at the moment, building new cupboards. Uh, I'm getting to be quite good at that. I built a nice cabinet for my LD002R resin printer, my Creality printer, and I'm really pleased with that as it's out of the way. It's nice and dry in there and it's working well. It keeps the smell locked in. I'm gonna be putting an extractor fan to, to extract the, the uh, smell out, but the smell doesn't escape the cabinet. It barely escapes from the printer itself. So all in all, it's nicely locked away there and that prints off happily on its own in the dark there and away it goes. So guys, think about what you can do around your house. Actually, it's limitless what you can do. You can fix things, you can make things, and you can make them look really good. 
quite frankly, I think this looks great. Um, this looks as good, if not better than the, the handles I saw in the store. The ones I saw in the store were really roughly made and not that great. So I'm super pleased with this. Guys, give it a try, see what you can come up with and uh, post your comments below. Tell me what you thought of this video, the idea of putting these on the cupboards. And also guys, if you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel, give us a like and stay well, stay safe and God bless. That's it for today. Check back soon for more videos. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. This helps us understand what you would like to see. If you want to see more of our videos, consider subscribing to our channel and press the notification icon to be notified when a new video comes out. Post comments. Let us know what you want to see. Tell us if you like this video or if there's any other subject matter that you would like to see. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. We buy everything ourselves in this channel and really want to grow this channel. God bless you guys, love you guys, and see you soon. Cheers.